Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which we're going to be installing Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.16.4. That's right, Optifine has just been released for Minecraft 1.16.4 and Minecraft 1.16.4 has also just been released by the way, so I thought I'd show you how to install Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.16.4. Now before we get into it, of course, if you're into Minecraft videos like these, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. I would also like to mention that we now have our own Minecraft server that you can join using the IP address down below in the description or on the screen right now. And without further ado, let's get straight to installing Optifine and shaders for 1.16.4. So first things first, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually launch Minecraft 1.16.4 just once. That is important. If you don't do that, you won't be able to install Optifine. So to do that, open up your Minecraft launcher, come over to installations right here and look for a latest release. It should say 1.16.4. If it doesn't work like that, just create a new profile. I'm going to name mine Daniel Place, but you can name yours whatever you like. Come over to version right here and select release 1.16.4, click create and then launch that profile. Just wait for the game to make it to the main menu and then you can click quit game. So now it is actually time to download Optifine, so open up your browser and you can also use the links that I provided you with down in the description so you don't have to look anything up yourself. So the first link you're going to be using is the one to Optifine.net. Once you're there, go over to downloads and as you can see there's no full version for Minecraft 1.60.4 just yet so you have to click preview versions. This will show you a pre-release version, click download right there and you'll be redirected to an ad page where you have to wait about 5 seconds until you can actually click skip right here. Just click skip, you'll be redirected to a download page for Optifine. What I like to do is open up a new tab because this one is usually going to redirect you to yet another ad. So just click this, wait for the download to start and then close this tab. As you can see, we have now successfully downloaded Optifine, but it does give us a warning, especially on Chrome, this tends to happen for .jar files. But if you actually use the link that I put down in the description, you should be fine and you can just click keep. As long as it's called something like preview Optifine 1.16.4, you're good to go. So I'm going to drag this to my desktop. So I can already just open this file by double clicking it and it will show me the Optifine installer. But for some people, it will show up as a zip file or an Internet Explorer file or maybe a text file or even just a blank file. So in that case, that means Java is not associated with this file and it should be. So the first thing you should try to do is run Jarfix. Just go over to your browser, do a quick Google search for Jarfix. Use the top link right there. It will also be down in the description, so don't worry. Just about right here, you're going to find jarfix.exe and just click that. This will be a very small file. You can just click it immediately after you downloaded it. It will prompt you with a yes, no choice where you click yes. And then after that, if you actually have Java installed on your PC, it will tell you that the .jar suffix has now been registered successfully. You can click OK. Now come back to this file and try double clicking it. If it still doesn't work or if you just right click it, go over to open with and Java doesn't show up here, you probably don't have Java installed. So if you don't have Java installed, use the link down below in the description. This will bring you to this page with a huge red download button right here that you can click. It will download a Java installer. I'm not going to do that because it won't work the same way for me because I already have Java. You just click this, download it, and then after that, install it. And then after that, you may need to restart your computer. Sometimes you don't even need to do that. And then you can actually open the .jar file. So now that we've got that out of the way, you can open up this file now. This will give you the Optifine installer. And from here on, it's actually pretty simple. You just click install. You wait a few seconds. And then after that, it should say Optifine is successfully installed. You can click OK. So we can now actually download some shaders. I'm going to use BSL shaders, but I forgot to mention last time that BSL shaders are actually pretty high end and they will require a pretty good computer. So if you don't have a good computer or just, you know, a low end computer, be sure to check out some of my other videos on lower end shader packs that you should instead try if BSL shaders are really laggy. So open up your browser. If you do actually want to use BSL shaders, a link will be down in the description because all of the links that I use in this video will also be down in the description. So on this page, you have to scroll down a little bit to where it says Minecraft 1.16. Find this one that says BSL version 7.2 and click this download icon. You have to wait five seconds here and then after that your download will automatically start. 
So I'm gonna drag this over to the desktop as well. So we are almost there. Now you can open up your Minecraft launcher, come over to installations right here. So after installing Optifine, it should show you this Optifine profile right here with Optifine 1.16.4. If it doesn't, just create a new profile called, well, Daniel Plays Optifine in that case. It doesn't really matter what you call it. What matters is that under version, you will select release 1.16.4 Optifine. Just click create and then use that profile to actually play Minecraft. So there we go. We are actually in Minecraft 1.16.4. To check whether you have installed Optifine correctly, go over to options, video settings, and then in the bottom left corner, it should say Optifine something something, but at least the fact that it states Optifine there and in the bottom right corner, it says Minecraft 1.16.4. That means that you have successfully installed Optifine for Minecraft 1.16.4. So the last step is of course to install the shaders. Now to do that, come over to options, video settings and shaders right here. Click shaders folder. This should show you an empty folder if you've never done this before. Now you can drag in the BSL shaders, just drag them in just the way they are. Don't unpack this file, don't unzip the file, just leave it as it is the way you downloaded it. Then you can close this. It will usually already be there in Minecraft. If it's not there, just go into options again, video settings and shaders. Sometimes it needs a little refresh to actually show the new shaders. Now you're going to want to click the new shaders. It will take some time for it to load, but after it's done, you should actually already be able to hop into a world and see the shaders. So that's what I'm going to do. You can click done here and then I'm going to hop into a world and show you that it's actually worked. So as you can see, we are in Minecraft 1.16.4 using BSL shaders. I hope this tutorial helped you out in installing Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.16.4. If it actually did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, which of course you do, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!